Okay, one man, one Marquez against Timothy Bradley. I have to be honest with you, this is another one of those fights that really didn't at first capture the imagination. Congratulations to one man, one Marquez. He is now 40 years old. Congratulations, hope you've had a nice birthday. Um, you haven't eaten too much birthday cake and you're in great training. So, um, so okay, you want to hear my prediction for this fight? Let's go into a few things. Now, I don't know if it's me, just me, or my television set on my eyes, but Timothy Bradley, since the Manny Pacquiao fight, I don't know if it's me, but he seems to be really fat in the face. I don't know if he's been ill or something, but his face looks like really fat. Um, and I've never seen Timothy Bradley's face be that fat. Um, even when he turns up to press conferences, I've never seen his face turn up that fat to a press conference. Um, I know he moved up in weight to challenge Manny Pacquiao for the welterweight championship, I believe. If I've got my information right there, I might have got it wrong. I'm sure he moved up to fight Pacquiao. But, um, <sighs> Timothy Bradley. Before the, 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 the Roslan Provodkov Provodnikov fight. Before he fought that Russian guy, let's put it this way. Before he fought that guy, um, Bradley's career was, you know, he was unbeaten and sure, yeah, he, he seemed dangerous enough. I mean, I always picked Bradley to beat Khan. I just thought he'd work quite without work Khan. He wasn't, you know, Khan's not a big puncher and Bradley would have got inside and just kept working and working and working at Khan and slowed him down really and worked into the body and stopped him late. I always thought Bradley would have got the beating of Khan. Anybody who can fight on the inside I always think stands a very good chance against Khan. And that was shown when Dev um, when um, Lamont Peterson got inside. Uh, Lamont Peterson is a very good fighter on the inside. Anyway, let's get back to it. Now, in Bradley's last fight, as excited as he was, for me, he was badly hurt in, in that fight. Uh, and Ruslan Prodnikov is... A puncher. He's a big puncher. Yes. But he's not one man one Marquez. Okay? Now you think to yourself, if Marquez had Timothy Bradley in that sort of trouble, Marquez would have taken his time and as Bradley was rushing in, it would have counted him and finished the fight off. Marquez, on the other hand, you know, he's been in through so many fights. He's had three, four fights with Pacquiao. He's fought the who's who of boxing, quite literally. And you've got to ask yourself, how much is left in the tank with, with Marquez? A great, excellent counter-puncher. Um, a professor of counter-punching. And I would say, in terms of counter-punching, he's number two or number three in the world. Um, Floyd being number one, because he's unbeaten and still number one, pound for pound, and, and is showing great defensive skills. And when the two came together and fought, Skill-wise, um, Mayweather may look like a boy, but anyway, um, and regardless of weight and just technical skill, technical skill alone, Mayweather just beat him hands down. Now let's go back to Bradley. Bradley has fast hands, um, has a great engine, has a good chin, uh, and high work rate. But, but, but. I think Bradley is very open to the right hand and I think Bradley would be is liable to get countered against a very good counter puncher. Marquez on the other hand is a very good counter puncher but at 40 years old how much does he actually have in the tank? Can he do another 12 rounds? Will Bradley be able to outwork him? Well, I don't think Timothy Bradley is a big puncher. I really don't. I think he's a respectful puncher, but he's not one punch knockout merchant, not like how many Pacquiao is. So I don't think Marquez has to worry about that sort of power coming from 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 um, Bradley. So in comparison, probably Bradley's a feather punches like a feather duster compared to Manny Pacquiao and sort of knockout power Manny Pacquiao's had. Having said that about Manny Pacquiao. He hasn't scored a TKO or knockout in a while. I mean, he dropped Mosley once or twice in the fight, but couldn't knock him out. So, for me, 
Marquez, despite him not... He's never been a fighter that's relied on hand speed and, and good, great footwork in terms of like where Roy Jones is defended, depended specifically on speed. I put uh, Marquez in the same category as Hopkins. Not somebody who depends on speed, but has fundamentally very good good boxing skills, knows how to block, how to counter, you know, how to get himself into positions, how to get in the inside, fight on the inside, fight on the outside. It's a complete all-round fighter. So for me, I'm going to go with the all-round fighter, the older man in this fight, to catch Timothy Bradley coming in on one of his, his, his wild rallies coming in, trying to fight back like the big heart he has, and actually seeing Bradley getting knocked out in this one. Um, I don't know about Timothy Bradley. He just doesn't seem the same guy anymore. Now, I know that there was death threats sent to him after the Pacquiao fight, a fight that I predicted he would beat Pacquiao in. And I did say it would be controversial. I did say that, um, if you go back and look at my prediction video, I'll probably post it on here. I did say that Timothy Bradley win the fight via a majority decision. I said this because when I saw the first fight, I saw the press conference, saw Bradley turn up with a, there's a big banner saying Bradley Pacquiao 2. Now for me, it worked, it seemed to me that it was almost fixed for Bradley to go to points not get knocked out and you know and, and 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 win on points that's what it seemed to me because i didn't think bradley won the fight or oh, i thought pacquiao won the fight hands down however the next fight pacquiao had against marquez i didn't think he won at all but then there you go um who knows if this fight go to points they may barrera may turn one on 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 bradley and award it to marquez for me i think personally marquez is the better boxer I think he's a better counter puncher. I think he's the better fighter. I think he hits harder. And I think he's got the better chin. Bearing in mind the sort of punches Marquez has been in the ring with, he's fought the better fighters. I mean, he's been in the ring with Pacquiao, he's been in the ring with uh, Mayweather, he's been in the ring with, with um, Casamayor. Um, he's been in the ring with so many Juan Diaz, so many fighters Marquez has been in the ring with. So for me, I'm going with Marquez, the older man, but the wiser man. This whole thing about PEDs with Marquez, I have to say Marquez looked huge when he fought Manny Pacquiao. Um, I don't know whether there's anything in that, but I'll tell you one thing. If drinking your pee get you that big and that bulky and guess what I'm gonna start drinking my own pee this has been Ingram Jones from from Bayloric TV boxing channel let me know what you guys think am I what do you think of the fact that I think that Marquez will win the fight do you see Timothy Bradley winning the fight what do you think of Timothy Bradley as a puncher I just think there's something, something just not right with Bradley anymore. I've listened to all his comp all his interviews. He just not to seem the same guy anymore, and he does seem like a guy who's gonna have a chip in his shoulder when he fights, like he has to prove a point. I don't know, but I'm going with Marquez in this one. I hope Bradley proves me wrong. I'm out.